everybody. Bilbo Swaggins here. We're back with it. We're doing Tainted Jacob Beast Run. Uh, what is this? His thir third attempt? Is it third attempt? I don't even know, but this is a terrible start. This is, uh, <laughs> Stitches is not it. Now, if we get the crawl space with the double item, it, it could be it. I mean, it it's, you know, at least it has a use. For now, uh, Stitches is not going to be doing anything for us. Maybe optimal case scenario, we might get an item out of it, like a consumable. That's uh, that's really pushing it, though. We're probably not going to get a use case out of it. Luckily, it's not that big of a deal because we do have Esau here to do some extra damage, which I... Oh, okay, Th these enemies don't want to be hit. Um, we do have, you know, Esau to do some extra damage. It shouldn't be that bad early on. Hopefully, we can actually get something cooking here, though, because we need that. This is not a character where we can be weak. We got to be able to demolish Beast. We've learned this the hard way because, listen, we need defensive items. We need to cook Beast immediately. Something needs to happen in the Beast fight because last time we got cooked. We got cooked because we could not dodge. It's not possible to dodge. There's too much going on in the Beast fight to actually dodge. Anyways, how's everyone's day been? Hopefully, it's been pretty good. Now... I want to bomb open that chest, that stone chest, but the game is refusing to give me any consumables besides money. The, was there even a bomb in the shop? Hold on. Maybe. There is. There is, and then there's two nickel boys as well. Okay, well, let's uh, let's kill Baby Plum here. Should be fairly easy with Esau. Shouldn't have too big of a problem here. Welcome, easy peasy. Very easy kill, luck up, and a soul heart. I'll take it, the defender devil deal. And I guess we're just going. I mean, we could enter curse room. It's possible there's a bomb in there. I think it's too good of an opportunity to pass up. I know we'll lose the soul heart, but two nickel boys in there and this stone chest. If we can get them all, it might be worth. It might be. Head into here. Oh, we got a bomb. Hold on. Let it cook. Let it cook. We got HP too. We have a bomb. Do we bomb open the chest? No, it doesn't matter. We can bomb open the chest and we can buy another bomb. Well, that wasn't worth it all. What the hell? How are you going to give me flatworm? I'm still going to take it because I, you know, went out of my way to get it. But that is not doing anything for the run. <laughs> That's not doing anything for the run. Okay, we spend five cents here for a potential ten cents. I'm a believer. That's more than ten cents. I mean... It's not immediately more than 10 cents, but that'll be more than 10 cents down the line. Okay, we go down. Well, money solved. We don't have a money problem anymore, which is good. That means more items. Curse room on the right. I'm going to check it real quick before we fight Esau. Soul heart. Thank you. Ooh, Bob's curse. Don't mind if I do. And we lost our devil deal. Should have picked up the soul heart first. Wasn't even worth it. There was nothing in it. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. We could still get the devil deal at this chance. I mean, 36% chance. Not that bad. We have butt bombs and we have poison bombs. Do we have a Dr. Fetus build incoming? It seems like it, but we'll see. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. But it is revives. It is revives, and that would save our life against Beast. Because reviving in the Beast fight just immediately revives you like it's a in-room revive. I'm going to pick it up. It's worth. It's 100% worth. It would be silly not to pick it up. Okay. Duke of flies. Cook them. Oh, my God. Why are we doing this to me? Why are we doing this to me? What's the reason we're doing this to me? Cook this man. Don't let him get us. Not today, Satan. Gurglings may as well be Satan. Okay. Well, we're tainted loss, but we will revive if we get hit. Right? There is no, like, for sure death. I think so. I'm, I don't want to find out, though. I definitely don't want to find out the hard way. Go into the shop. Terror cloth, kind of goaded with the sauce. I'm going to buy it. What we get? Stars card? What's a boosted stars card do? I always forget. If the treasure room hasn't been entered yet, it will have two items to choose from. That's right. That's pretty good. Bomb this man. Ooh, we got a golden chest. But we have no key. We have a golden chest, but no key. Okay, well, I'm just going to butt bomb for safety reasons. I'm going to go back and open that for sure. Give me something cool. Got two keys out of it. So we got an extra key and we got an extra bomb. I'll take that. I'm just going to bomb again. It's too risky. I don't want to test the, the death mechanic. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, I don't want to test the death mechanic here. Because it might just be like, you lose no matter what. I don't know. I've never tested this. Knowing Isaac, it might be uh, if we get tapped again, even with revives, we just die. Red key is insane. Red key is absolutely bonkers. Where's the ultra super secret room? I'm thinking it's a corner room between the boss room or the boss arena room and the treasure room here. Am I correct? Okay, not the right direction, but sure. I don't even think I actually opened the right spot for what I was going for, but hey, we got it anyways. Don't complain. Blood bombs, really? Okay, so why are we getting a kind of goaded bomb build? I mean, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just curious because we've gotten three of the best bomb items in the game. The only way it gets better than this is if we get bobby bombs. Bobby bombs for the homing bombs? It's over. I mean, we can just drop bombs and we win. It's so much damage. It's so much damage. Like, I'm going to kill the boss here probably with bombs. It's going to be very easy. Yeah, it's going to be very easy with this guy. He's going to walk on the creep and he's just going to die. Okay, cook him. We don't need to use a bomb on him. Save our bombs. We got the devil deal too. <sighs> kind of goaded with the sauce because if we revive, if we revive, it would be very easy to be half heart. We can take this anyways. Just take it. Just take it. It might not come into use. It might come into use. Better to take. It's a nice little damage up. I'm liking this build already. I'm actually liking this build. Pop into here. Eight inch nails. Not even a question. Not even a question. The knockback's insanely like useful and the damage up is crazy. Okay, so like I'm not gonna say we're winning yet, but like damn, this is kind of a pretty go to start to the run. We've got a lot of items already. And we have revives. We're kind of cooking. We may have cooked. All we gotta do now is really just not fall into a death loop where we just keep dying over and over. Please don't hit me again. I don't need to be tainted lost. I'd prefer not to be tainted lost if possible. I know that's very hard for you game. Like, you know, it's like, oh, we got to kill Bill. We got to get him. We can't give him an easy run. That'd be ridiculous. I'm just going to. Well, actually, no, that's a bad idea. Just cook him this way. And kill this man. And he's cooked. Where is my ultra super secret room? Hey, panic button. So actually some of you guys uh, actually have some comments on uh, some use case for panic button. It was IV bag, I think. And what else? What was it? IV bag. There's something else. Oh, kamikaze. That's right. Kamikaze. Which both are kind of niche, but hey, they do got to use. I mean, piggy bank is not that hard to encounter. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's better than Dr. Fetus. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is this run insane? This run's cracked. What the hell are we talking about here? Oh, anyways, back on the topic. Um, What was I even going to say at this point? I, I'm confused now. I'm more confused than anything. The run's just absolutely goaded. Um... I mean, piggy bank's pretty common as is, right? So, like, it's not that big of a deal. I, it's a use case for it. I, it's still kind of dumb, right? <laughs> it's a little, like, eh, just piggy bank. It's a niche case piggy bank, but you got to give up your active slot for it. I, I don't know about that. And then kamikaze, I guess. I mean, that's kind of good, though. Kamikaze does do a lot of damage. Like, there's a reason you win when you get the free kamikaze build. Like, either you can just blow up for free somehow, or you got pyro, you know, maniac, or freaking host hat. It's kind of good, right? The damage is a lot. I, I just, you know, I guess a kamikaze is probably the best use case I can think of based off what you guys suggested. I'm going to take more options. Not even a question. That's just even more. Like, we're just getting more chances of good items. So, HP-wise, we're good. And we have revives. I mean, is there even a problem here? Is this just a one run? I guess the real question is, where's my super secret room? Or ultra super secret room? Also, bomb the mushrooms. No reason not to. Okay, curse of the maze. Doesn't really bother me. We should just get into these. No reason not to. We have infinite bombs, Bill. We have infinite bombs. Don't be stupid. Oh, <laughs> that was scary. Um, is it? Uh, okay. Okay. Well, you stole my red key. I hope you're proud of yourself. 
I got, like, destroyed by some freaking battery flies. What the hell? Go into here? We can get a charge. Be very easy to get a charge. We got some money, too. Already made it worth it. When you have epic fetus, by the way, the bomb effects are not guaranteed, but they are pretty damn likely. But it's not like Dr. Fetus where it happens every time. Epic fetus is chance-based. So it makes it a little bit worse, but it's still pretty damn good. So like, it's not like it's a problem. Can the ultra super secret room be connected to the boss room? Can't remember. I feel it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't steal my HP, please. Don't give me horror Babylon. That would be terrible. Oh, I can't go into the... Hold on. Hmm. Let's go into the treasure room. Go down with the red key. I think that's my best choice. Potentially. Potentially. I'm gonna go down. It's not down. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. We've we lost our HP. Well, that is extremely sad. That is extremely sad. That is wow. Fuck you too, game. Huh. Well. Well. Oh, hell no. Hell no. What are you talking about? Oh. Are you going to charge at me? What are you talking about? Oh my god, we got out. I don't know how that got me out. I'm not going to question it, but... What the fuck, game? What are you talking about, dude? Why? That was all my goods. That was all my HP. That was everything. I just got robbed and I had some lives robbed from me. I thought it was over. I'm going to be real honest. I thought that was going to be like early loss just due to RNG. Like there was no controlling that. Oh, oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. I don't know how we got out. I'm not going to question it. Don't don't question why we're alive. Question why that had to happen for this to even happen for any of this to happen. This was terrible. This was a bad experience. It not only scared the shit out of me, I really thought it was Yover. Like, I was for sure it was Yover. There was, like, no chance in my mind we recover. Somehow we recovered. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. I'm not happy about it. We have an HP up, right? We, did we get an HP up? Yeah, we got a black heart, technically. We didn't get a heart container. But we did get a black heart. Hit him with the dodges. Okay, so... Just don't ever get hit by Esau again, please. That would be great. Um, how do we deal with Esau on the run here? Because I'm getting hit like a mofo again, and I, I don't I don't want to have that happen again. I don't want to have that happen again. We lost like four lives. That'd be terrible. Really, it's not that big of a deal in the beast fight. We just lost all our HP because fucking red room curse room. That's crazy. I thought it was for sure Jover. Okay, just kill everybody. Hopefully, never have that happen again. Never have that happen again. We have one red heart, we have a black heart, and we have a soul heart, right? Or two soul hearts. We're doing good on the HP right now. Kind of, sort of. It's definitely not bad. Can we get a, a mushroom, please? One mushroom? Secret room? Leech? I'll, I'll take leech. I like leech. Give me magic mush. One day. Not today, though. Okay, secret room with a battery. I'm assuming shop's up here. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. We gotta reel it back in. We'd actually have so much HP right now if it wasn't for that curse room. It's kind of crazy. I really like how I couldn't dodge those flies. Like, it was not possible. Speed up. I'll take it. Hit him with the dodges. Hit him with the dodges again. Okay, we're getting blown up. I'm just not being given any room to dodge. Where? Oh, Bill, don't walk into those, please. Um, Where is my ultra super secret room? It obviously is not next to the secret room, right? So I'm assuming it's on the right over here. I'm going to go this way. It is not this way. But hey, it's the thought that counts. Where's my ultra super secret room? Can we get cracked door, please, to make this easier? It would make it significantly easier. Boss room's up here. 
We already were in shop. Shop's good. There's no HP for us to grab. We just gotta have that never happen again. <laughs> never have that happen again. Bomb the mushrooms. I hope I haven't been missing any mushrooms. Cook this man. This will be an easy kill. I mean, when we're playing normal Isaac here and we're not getting hit by Esau, we're, it's not. It's an easy build, right? There's no big problems. Guppy's eye, not even a question. Grab it. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Go down. Okay, so how's the HP? We have two hearts. We have two hearts, which is not great, but hey, it's better than one heart. Okay, grab all this. May as well check this out. It's a hand. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Oh, well. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Does not really matter. Although, I'd prefer not to have been hit to maintain the devil deal chance. Okay, there's a chest back there. I mean, the main problem we have right now is just how long it takes for our first hit to get. But Epic Fetus does so much damage, it's worth the wait. But we still gotta be super careful here. Because we're basically trying to, like, in our brain, aim the shot and also dodge e -cell While also dodging the enemies. It's actually pretty hard. I mean, it's not a very beginner-friendly build. <laughs> Epic Fetus, though, it has to have been worth. I want to get over there and grab that soul heart, but it would do nothing for me. Because I would have to use the heart to get back over. Number magnet would be crazy. Hold on. Be a believer. Get away from me, please. Number magnet. I think number magnet's worth. We don't need the money. Probably. We probably don't need the money. I say we don't need the money, but we probably don't need the money. You gotta clarify. Buck up. I'll take that for sure. I think that does increase our chances. I'm not 100% sure, though. Go get our item room real quick. And the shop. May as well, right? Hit the shop. Hit the item room. Make sure we're getting as many items as we can. Lust is going to drop nothing. Oh, he actually dropped an item. I, w I was assuming he was just going to drop a pill. He drops pills, right? I think it's pills. But he does also drop the syringes, which, um... Hey, that was pretty lucky. Fuck these guys. I mean, when the butt bomb procs were actually, like, super mega busted because, listen, it's kind of OP to just make every enemy just suddenly start, like, walking in random directions. Like, that's pretty good. I still can't believe we saved the run. I really thought it was over. I was like, God damn it. God damn it. This is why you keep randomly trying things until something happens. Either you lose or you don't. The 50-50 chance. Dark card in the chest. That's kind of rare, but I'll take it. Item room. Please have something goaded like Bobby Bombs. Actually, Bobby Bombs wouldn't do anything. Uh, have something goaded like Cricket's Head. HP up. That's what we're talking about. I'll take that for sure. I will take that for sure. That is potential run winner right there. Because he... Wow, two dark cards? That's crazy. Um... We needed a defense item in the last time we did Jacob, so... That's definitely crazy. Uh, Ultra Super Secret Room is clearly between the treasure room here. Okay, it is not. I was gonna say treasure room and shop, but... Uh, never mind. Never mind. Listen, the Ultra Super Secret Room... It's kind of a loose cannon sometimes. I, I say I maybe have an understanding of it sometimes, and then it's like... I do not. Don't let me lie to you. Don't let me lie to you. I'm just gassing it up half the time. Um, okay, bunch of pills. Some of these could be good. Not good. Lemon party. Paralysis. That's the maze pill. Oh, you're a dummy. Range down. Doesn't matter. Okay, well, okay, we're fine. I mean, none of these really mattered. And, well, let's go down real quick. Hold on. Oh, I almost got hit. Jesus Christ. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Isaac. I don't know where my ultra super secret room is, apparently. This thing's like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not that worried about it. I just wanted to get it, but hey, whatever. I'm not that worried. I just feel like 
it's pretty worth going for since we do have epic fetus brimstone works right it, it's a classic combo shoots out like the eight brimstones when it lands i mean that's just a go to combo it's been so long since i've seen it though but the ultra super secret room always has red items that's the the item pool it's literally just red item pool brimstone is red i could get brimstone it would be kind of pog mysterious paper i remember what you did to me i don't want to talk about it so keep going just keep cooking we just gotta keep where do we get the bone heart from oh divorce papers i feel like a dummy now i was like where did this uh freaking do we have an xl no we already went on depths i didn't even realize i was so like i think i'm still recovering from the fucking near loss I, I did not even realize we were on depths on the last four or depths one. See, we didn't need counterfeit penny, although we would have had more money if we did take it. But it's not required. We don't need all the money in our donation machine. Okay. That's just not even cool, man. That's not even cool. We're just bullying me. Okay, we have a we have a mysterious card. We have a zany card. It's not a it's not a good one though. Hold on, wait, what's it do? The boss is chosen from two feet. Oh, an extra boss room that can be defeated for an... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll take that. Make sure we grab the old full card. Because does that put us in the mom boss room too or not? I don't know. Oh, wait, we can't grab it. We don't have freaking uh, starter deck. What am I talking about? If we had starter deck, we could do it. It's still technically possible. Well, grab the full card for now so we know what we're doing. Grab the full card for now. Maybe we get starter deck and there's no problems at all. Well, no no starter deck, but hey, car battery could come into use. You never know. Where is my... Hey, that's how to keep her. Don't mind if I do. I almost didn't see it. Secret room up here? Is it? No. I don't know where secret room is. Um, Secret room over here. Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> nope. Definitely can't be up. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I'll figure it out. That looks like super secret room down. But then again, I had been wrong the past couple times, so I wasn't 100%. We do still want bombs on hand just because uh, we do get guaranteed butt bombs when we use our normal bombs instead of epic fetus. So it still has a use case. Full heart, thank you. Welcome. Did we get our item room? No, we did not get our item room. Get our item room. It doesn't really matter. We didn't make boss rush anyways. We did not make boss rush anyways, so none of this really matters in any meaningful capacity. Okay, be careful. Okay, the four is actually massive. It's one of those fours where you find the boss room like halfway early into the four, and then it's like the rest of the four is just massive, and you're just trying to find one room. The feels bad moment. We're doing really well on the consumables. Okay, we're doing really, really well on the consumables. Our bombs are at 42. Even if we were using bombs normally, we would still have an absolute shitload of bombs at this point. Glass cannon is very funny. Don't get me wrong. Like, glass cannon is hilarious. Like, that is fucking... I, I don't even know. Is that worth taking? It's not worth taking. It'll do double damage to us when we get hit. Bob's Brain is a risky play, but it's not that risky because we're not firing out tears constantly. So it's like more like a... Um, it's maybe a usable item, I guess I should say. It's a halfway usable item. We have Golden Key, so we may as well play this. Hey, tears up. Don't, does that make it shoot down faster? I can't remember. I think it does, but maybe I'm crazy. Addicted and a luck down. Okay, well, I make sure we pick up our full card again. I don't know where the ultra super secret room is, apparently. It's somewhere. Somewhere I don't know. Is it over here? Hey, we got lucky. Is that another full card? I didn't. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, okay. Wait, we got soul in here. Hold on. Hold on. Be a believer. So, I think what we do here is, what we do is, with our big massive brain, 
we're gonna die right like we're gonna die in the mom fight at some point here we're gonna die and then we're gonna have to redo it we can no hit it it's not that hard but we're gonna die and we're gonna lose our hp so we leave soul down we're gonna come back and grab soul after we for sure have mom dead then it's not a big deal we'll, does the emperor card teleport me back into the item or the room i used it in i don't know and do i really want to find out if i had starter deck i would because then we could use the extra full card there would be no worries i'd be like hey easy mode oh the spider come on bro that's just cheese that's just cheese at that point you can't just spawn a random spider oh dude oh my god we're gonna lose all our lives we're gonna lose all our lives before we even get the beast why'd it have to be blue mom spammy spammy megami put creep on all the doors put creep on all the doors stop spawning fucking enemies stop opening the doors when i'm right next to them oh you're kidding me what are you doing game what the fuck is this? Oh my god, I used the full card. Oh my god, man. I wanted to use Anima Sola. Oh fuck, this is why I hate fucking tainted characters. I'm gonna be real honest. This is why I hate tainted characters, dude. Pouch items are probably one of the worst controls in the game. And that's like counting the second character controls, where you have to cold control to like stop one character. It, it, it's just, it's bad. It's bad. It's like, dude... It's a tiny little icon in the bottom of my corner. I am staring at the boss fight, trying to make sure I don't get hit. I do not need to be worrying about that. It should be its own separate button. Okay, well, Anima Sola. Why? Oh, Anima Sola worked. Oh my god, that causes more problems. Anima Sola. Why? Why does Anima Sola work that way with car battery? Are we like taking the piss out of me? This is crazy. Like oh dude i'm about to have a moment dude oh my god i'm about to call it i'm about to call it bad game design bad fucking game design edmund to be fair though he did not make tainted jacob that was the anti-birth mod creator oh my lanta dude just calm down bill we don't need the extra lives. They're, they are merely... I can't fucking hit any of the moms. Can you pop out on one of the doors I'm aiming at? Dude, this is like fucking impossible. I can't even use Animasola. Oh. Oh. Fucking get out of here. Just get out of here. Go grab soul. Dude. Dude. I had to lock the fuck in. I had to lock the fuck in. This is a joke, right? Like, we lost all our lives. We lost all our lives. Hey, at least we still have bot fly. So as long as we get our HP up, we just tank. Oh. My fucking god. Tainted characters are probably some of the worst experience in the game, though. I'm not gonna lie. They are, they are up there in the worst experiences in the game. Because all of their gimmicks come down. Okay, not all of them. Not all of them. Most of their gimmicks come down to you are a one shot. That is not good game. That is not good gameplay. That is very bad gameplay. If I have to really say it. And it's why I don't like any of the tainted characters. Besides the obvious OP ones. Like they're all a hassle to play. I don't think there's really one that really exceptionally sucks. Other than tainted Lazarus. And it almost feels like because that character was not play tested, right? Like... You just play the greed mode of Tainted Lazarus. You will see. I mean, it is just awful. It is just awful. And honestly, though, the alt fours, I mean, nobody goes to them. Nobody goes to them because they just suck. Downpour sucks. Mine's not that bad. Mine's isn't that bad. Downpour sucks. Gehenna sucks. I mean, it's just like... Why the hell would you want to enter these? You don't get two items on the floor. You just get a pick of two items. Which I guess has its value, but damn, it's not that good. Soul of Isaac, it's already going to do what the alt four does for me. But hey, I'll have a pick from four items now. I was half expecting to look under the map, though, and see Curse of the Blind. Wouldn't even surprise me. I wouldn't even be phased. That's standard Isaac gameplay. 
I'm a little salty about losing all my lives. I'm gonna be real honest. Uh, none of these are good for me yet. That's that's pretty good for me. That that's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that. Um, there was decapitation. The that item in there, the crying Isaac. It's been a long time since I've seen that. Been a long, long time. Okay. So, first order of business. Fix our HP situation. Second order of business. Stop fucking getting hit, Bill. There's soul hearts in here? Nope. If the fires had soul hearts in them, they would have the heart on them. So that way you don't have to blindly check. I really like that I cannot use Esau offensively anymore. Like, that's gotta be the coolest part of this run so far. It's like, hey, you know how you were using Esau to, like, kind of get the extra hits in when you kind of needed it? Yeah, we took that away. Why would car battery work as intended? That has to be a bug, by the way. Oh, whoops, I did not see that. I'm gonna get hit by it again because I'm an idiot. But yeah, that has to be a bug. There's no way car battery is supposed to work that way with it. Like, that's stupid. I used Anima Soul again to fucking use him offensively, and it decides to unlock the enemy instead of making him charge. That's crazy. Curse of the Maze. I really gotta check if that's Curse of the Maze. I just see unknown, and I'm like, hey, goaded. Unknown pill. Could be tears up. Could be health up. Doesn't even bother to check if you've already opened them. Secret room right here. Mystery gift. Give me something crazy. Don't give me glitch crown this late in. <laughs> well, well, that's pretty good. That is pretty goaded with the sauce, some might say. Can I get that soul heart out? Maybe. Hey, that's what we're talking about. If you hit it just right. Um, well, what was our other one? Red key. There's no ultra super secret rooms, right? So I think we're better off doing this. I think we're better off doing this. What is this card? Two of hearts. Doesn't matter to me. Unknown pill. Okay, we could just emperor out now, I think. We got... We could find the ultra super secret room. I don't know where it's at based on this layout. There's like... There's not even a spot I can see. I'm just gonna do this. I'm sure there's a give... There's a take somewhere. Like, something showing where the ultra super secret room is. I don't know where it's at. A lot of the times, the ultra super secret rooms are a little random. Because there can be multiple spots. And it's not like normal secret rooms or super secret rooms that have like a... Bias towards something. The best bias I've ever felt is like they spawn between the shop and the treasure room on a corner room. That's the biggest bias I've ever seen. And it's like you already saw in this run, it doesn't always happen. So it's like, eh, eh, meh. Not that big of a deal. Fuck them. So long as we just don't get hit, we don't lose a lot of HP, and we just let bot fly cook. We should win because the the problem of the last run was we took too many hits and it was either die as tanked and lost or die as the normal Jacob because we took like too much damage. We were low health. It was tough to dodge everything, especially the fires. We have a lot of HP. So long as we just take hits, take hits. Don't be an idiot. Just take the hits. It's not that big of a deal to take a little bit of damage. It is that big of a deal to turn into Tank the Gloss mid-fight. I'm going to take the Chariot card as backup. Because that will buy some time as Tank the Gloss. Because I'm just going to go in with the assumption I'll get hit. Because that's a fair assumption. At some point, I'll probably get hit. Based on this run. It has not been a good day at dodging Esau. But hey, if we win, that's all that freaking matters. That's all that freaking matters. Keep moving. Hook these guys. Give them the beans. I'm over my saltiness now of what happened about the, the nine lives. I'm still kind of upset about it, though. I'm also upset about the mom fight as well. These things happen. You cannot win everything. Lock in. Defeat tainted Jacob. Win. Our problems go away once we accept that we're better than this. We're better than Tainted Jacob. He will not defeat us mentally. He almost did, though. I was mad for a second. I was actually mad. 
I was about to enter gamer rage mode. Okay. I'm just going up as fast as I can because I want to maintain my HP. Our current HP is more than enough. It's more than enough. I don't want to get a risk a hit from freaking Esau either. So I'm just like, I'm skedaddling. I'm skedaddling as fast as I can. Where the hell is the exit, man? Get me out of this floor. Get me out of this floor. Like, I can't fucking avoid hits like that game. You got me pinned between freaking Esau and the tears. There's a wall on the other side of me. There's no dodging that. This is the biggest freaking ascent floor I've ever seen in my life. What the hell? Okay, easy room. Just hit the... Uh, get the initial dodges in and we're fine. Whenever you get a room like that with a bunch of the medium poops, just focus on dodging initially and then cook them. Now, if you don't have the damage to cook them, well, you're just going to have to hope for the best that you got the, the dodges down today. Because <laughs> you're going to need it after the second wave of dodges. Or the second wave of charges, I should say. You're not going to dodge the second wave. They've scattered. They bounce into each other. They're all in random spots. They might not even all be charging at the same time. Okay, don't give me any more of the jumping jack dudes. I don't like them. Lock them in. Go up. HP still kind of fine. Wish it was a little higher, but it's okay. It, it's still more than enough. I just know I'm going to take more hits than I can even think of. No. I'm doing more harm. Oh we. <laughs> oh we. Oh no, stitches! Please. Stitches, where are Please you? Oh, it's overridden. Anyways, it doesn't work. Okay, it's fine. It's overridden. Epic fetus overrides it, so it's whatever. But man, oh no, that doesn't lock him when he's coming out. No, it did. Okay. I thought it didn't for a second. I was like, that's dumb. That's dumb. Man, we did get the double item freaking cross face, so <laughs> that's crazy. Was that a speed up? Yes. We want as much speed as possible. I'm okay with two speed in a situation like this. We need to be able to dodge things reactively. More speed helps with that. We might take a little bit of damage from being too fast, but it's probably going to save us from more hits down the line. Okay, and we're going up. Okay. Dogma is going to be easy. He's going to be stupid easy. Give me some soul hearts here. Give me the goods. You don't give me anything. Soul heart. That's what we're talking about, baby. Actually, hold on. D20. These. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Oh, what? I used the chariot card. Hey, we healed the hearts, though. That was kind of a big gamer thing, but we didn't pick up the other bone heart. I had a... Oh, God. We almost got trapped in a corner. Okay. Well, it wouldn't matter. We still had Chariot active. Bill, we got to, like, lock in, dude. This is not the time. This is not the time for this. What do you got for me? Um, None of these are good. None of these are good. That doesn't do anything for me. Does it give me a tier rate up? It does. So, I don't know if it's actually doing anything. I don't know if I should take mom's trinket in. Or, sorry, well, mom's box. I mean, mom's box kind of goaded. I just don't want to be switching out into like a dumb trinket mid game or mid round. I don't know. I'm going to take the D6. I'm going to take the D6. It's probably better. Is there anything I should stay rolled into? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't think staying. Or, like, rerolling into, like, a different build is a good idea. We might get Holy Mantle. It's not very likely. Okay. That was very scary. That was extremely scary. So, if you lock Dogma while he's doing his Brimstone, he gets stuck in the animation until he's done with when he probably would have been done with the Brimstone. That's interesting. If you know what I mean. I kind of worded that kind of poorly but you know what there's a lot going on okay there's a lot going on I've, i'm really struggling here with these beast runs these final two these characters were not built for beast i didn't really have any problems with tainted jacob either throughout the like other runs it's just beast is tough because you, you don't get enough items and Esau is just a menace in that fight 
He's a menace. Not really that bad in anything else, though, in my opinion. I know some people do struggle with them, but I will agree, Beast is kind of rough. Sir, I'm going to need you to die. Okay, we're good. Easy peasy. Whoa, that was weird. Why'd that happen like that? The, the screen flashed first like it did the TV animation, and then it came back, and then it did it again. Weird. Okay, so Holy Mantle does protect a hit. It does protect a hit of Esau. Let's maintain that, please. Kindly. We locked him in. Okay, Anima Sola, though, with car battery kind of being goaded right now. A little annoying that I can't use it to charge with Esau, but you know what? Oh, my God. You dickhead. Your RNG where you come out, too. Like, come on, man. That's some bow. Okay, he's dead. Easy. Fine. Whatever. Hook him. Why did that drop a coin? That's weird. Hook him. Cook him. Keep cooking. Don't even think about it. You don't even have to think, Bill. No thinking required. Where did that fly come from? The ball of flies just came out of nowhere. That sounds like an Isaac na item name. Ball of flies. That'll be an Isaac too. Okay. So far, not so bad. We're not taking too many hits. I feel like we're doing better than we were before. Sorry if I keep, like, coughing, by the way. Like, I don't know where this cough is coming from. It's just kind of happening while I'm talking. I'm gonna need you to get the fuck away from me. <laughs> oh, God. Esau, please. You know what? He might get the charge hit, though. Nice. We stopped him. We stopped whatever little gimmick he was gonna do. It's probably gonna be the magma balls. Where he charges along the bottom of the screen. Okay, War's dead. That one was an easy one. We kind of cooked him there. What is Bob's brain doing? It is glitching out like a mofo. Wait, what? He didn't get locked. Oh, we must have locked a scythe. Oh, that's unlucky. Still got the hit on him, though. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, luckily, we can kind of just dodge these. It's a little hard, though, because I'm focusing on Esau. I'm also focusing on the Skulls. I'm also focusing on where I'm aiming. There's a little bit of multitasking going on. It's kind of hard to hit this guy. Your boy's not going to lie. Esau coming in with the, the clutch save. Bro is like, don't worry, bro. I got your back. Beast, it's time to cook you. Time to cook. So what happens if I lock Beast? It's, that's a pretty good question. I don't know what happens if I lock Beast. It might bug it out, but I'm still going to try it when I feel like he's low enough that even if he starts suddenly hitting me, we'll be okay. Okay. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. Oh, okay. Botfly, thank you. This is why we needed a defensive item. Yikers. Certified Yikers moment. We're doing pretty good, though. I think we got this. I'm going to lock him because it's going to be funny. It didn't work. Or maybe we locked a stalactite. I have no idea. No, he got locked. Got locked, but like it was like... <laughs> it was like, I don't know, like a rubber band. Bro was like stretching the whole chain. Oh, he's doing the hard one. Oh, yikes. Okay, remember to take, take hits. Take hits. Don't let Esau touch us. That's the most important thing. Don't let that man even get near us. I think one of you asked uh, how you dodge the stalactites. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. I have no idea. I just dodge them. I see them start to come down and I just move the other direction. It's a reaction time thing for me. I get hit by them too. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. We did it. Thank you, Jacob's done. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's my response to that. That was so stupid. That is the same run where we died to mom five times in a row and lost four of our lives to a red room curse room. We beat the fate. We beat fate. 
I can't believe it. That was kind of a crazy run, though. I mean, there was a lot going on in that run. So let's look real quick. We have everything done besides Tainted Lazarus, Beast Mode, which, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we got, let's just actually run through it real quick. We got challenges here. So we've got Ultra Hard, Hot Potato, Unknown Challenge. It's a secret achievement. So whatever it is, I, I, I need to find that out. Red Redemption. I don't think we beat the Glitch Challenge yet. I think the RNG Challenge at the bottom there is not done. I can't remember. And then items, let's look at the items real quick. It's in here, right? Yes. Items. What have we not picked up? That's a good question. That's a solid question. That's a solid question. Do I see any question marks yet? No. I'm pretty sure we have like a million percent right now. So there's the first unknown item. We don't know. Let's keep scrolling. How many items have we not picked up? Quite a few. Quite a few. Actually, not that many. What is that? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nine, ten, ten items. We have ten items to touch, and I know what one of them is. For sure. Okay. That's uh that's interesting. Then secrets, there's there's too many to even scroll through there. We're really close, guys. This is almost dead god. So best streak is three. That's cap. I had like a ten streak like midway through the playthrough. Or maybe that was the old save. I don't know. But that's going to be... I'm going to have a very long streak early on in Dead God 2. So it's not a big deal. I don't believe that number though. There's no way. There's no way that's actually real. Because I'm pretty sure I had a bigger streak when I was doing... Leading into the Mother Runs. I'm pretty sure I was on 7. I don't know. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that run. You can see we're really close. We just got to beat Tank the Blasters Beast Mode and then Ultra Hard. And then past that, it's a cakewalk. It's a cakewalk... It's been fun, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.